Hello, sugar plums. It's Evelyn, and I am here with another snatched video. Yes, this is another one of our snatch videos that is paying tribute to a Happy Planner Squad member. And this week is none other than Mary Ellen of Planning with Bumble. If you are interested in seeing what I'm snatching from Mary Ellen, stay tuned. Okay, welcome back. Hello to all of our newbies here. I want to welcome you. My name is Evelyn and the channel is Planning Day Eve. Here I like to make sure you know I do not claim to know it all, but I am here to share with you my silly, my talents, and of course what I'm learning. And one of the things that I am learning is cooking. Yes, I'm learning how to cook. There's some things I know how to make already so I'm not like completely starting from scratch um, but with this new time of staying at home, this is the third time, I am learning different dishes to cook for my family. So the Happy Planner has come in at the right time or it was already there. Nevertheless, these items have come in the right time for me. Now we're talking about snatching from Mary Ellen right so I am going to put the item that I'm st snatching right here so you can look at it okay you saw it okay all right awesome okay so one of the stickers that Mary Ellen uses in this color story 2.0 as I like to call it sticker book and I'm going to be using some other things along the way so let me show you those really quickly now I'm using 2.0. I'm going to think about using a sticker from this Essentially Essential Planning. Um, I have my calendar from this last week here, just so I could remember what I'm. We're going to be doing the Kakovin, Kakovin, however you say it. Um, we're going to do that dish, and I am using this. Um, recipe sheet I think is what it was called uh, from the happy planner because I can't find the new recipe organizer yet I'm gonna find it though you know I'm gonna find it and I'm going to use some stamps some recipe stamps and I might actually use depending I might use clear stamps too so let's just see how it goes but I did get this from Joann's I got it um, during that 60% off you know if you don't know about it you should follow me on Instagram because sometimes I tell you about the coupons but this was I used the 60% off and I think the original price on it might have been 99 but I wanted to have some stamps just so um, I could have some consistency with the main instructions of the recipe so let's get into it we are going to get set up I am going to put slow cooker meals under this tab so this is kind of like a snatch and a setup in one huh and then I'm take one sheet I'm gonna say recipe filler pages that or extension pack maybe um, that was when the last recipe book came out so I'm not sure if you'll be able to still find it. Maybe you'll find it on the Me and My Big Ideas website. But yes, there are stickers that came with it. And I am going to put the slow cooker stickers on the tab. And when I get my recipe organizer, now that means that I'll just have extra tabs, right? I, the reason why I thought that this would be a good idea to have was because um, I would like to get, away, get rid of some of the clutter in our home and what better way to do that than to minimize on the cookbooks. Just pull out the recipes 
that you really really want I don't know if you can see that since I'm on my dark table and then let's address that why why are you on the dark table Evelyn I'm on the dark table because I'm about to be stamping on some sheets that I'm not familiar to stamp with and I do not want to mess up my backdrop so that's why we're doing that and I'm just not realizing that I have recipe and ingredients here, but I want to use some stickers to decorate. So, we're still gonna use that, okay? Ingredients, and I just, I don't know, I like the way that this is written. Okay, Sugar Plums, so I went ahead and put some stickers down from that last shot because my camera went out but um, basically I and I'm glad you missed it though because my sticker the adhesive wasn't on the back of it it's still on the page and so I had to use a glue stick to put it down so you're gonna see me do that with this next sticker so I want you to know why I'm putting glue on the back of a sticker. That is the reason why. Okay, so I'm gonna just cut this straight across. And then put some glue down here. Oh, I accidentally put glue on this side. So I think I'm gonna actually do it like this. So that straight edge is there. Okay, there we go. So doing a little different. Rub that down. And then I'm going to go to Okay. So, let's see if this page Okay, the stickers are good on this page. And I am already going to put amazing here because we had this this week. As you can see, We've already had it. So, notes, it tastes amazing. And let's see what else I want to do. And I want to put a little bit of a little more decor on the sides. So I'm gonna use these two stickers on the bottom of the next clear page. And I want to put these, so I want to put it here. I think I want to put it here. Okay, I'll put that there. And then this right here. So we got a little bit of decor here and now I am going to go ahead and stamp what's needed and I think let's see so while I'm getting these stamps out I'm going to talk to you about Mary Ellen because remember if you've seen any of the prior squad snatches, you know that I have been saying kind words of what I like or admire about different squad members. So I'm going to continue on with that. Um, 
we're going to continue on with that and talking about Mary Ellen. So that's what I'm going to do. So I was trying to squeeze these out. This is me opening it for the first time. They're kind of stuck. Oh, look! Inside the box, it tells you what went where. Cute. Okay, so, back to Mary Ellen. Mary Ellen, I really enjoy how sweet, how nice she is. Um, and... I would say when I say sweet and nice, I would say from like sharing information. If you have questions, you know, she definitely has invited people in comments to direct message her. Um, and it's just so great to see um, people in this community. Again, that's what I really enjoy about this community is women encouraging other women, empowering other women. and. I have seen that personally with Mary Ellen. The other thing that I really enjoy about Mary Ellen is her um, des her design sense with, you know, that middle section. If you have not seen Mary Ellen, then after this video, check out her Instagram page or her YouTube channel. Um, she kind of does a scene with stickers in the middle of her page. And I think if I have kind of enough time after this, I'm going to do like a mini tribute in my mini. So like just a mini portion of that. I really love how she does that. I think it's super cute. Um, and then you gotta love her handwriting too. You, got, you gotta love it. So that's something that I wanna share that I really enjoy about Mary Ellen. So, in the comments down below, let me know if you've learned any tips or tricks from Mary Ellen, anything that you really love seeing on her page. Um, um, put that in the comments down below. So, um, another thing to know is that, or not to know like it's not you know it's not imperative for you to know but if you've seen a recent post I think it was recent post of Mary Ellen she kind of posted she does like a recipe thing kind of day um and one of her recipes <laughs> was jello cake y'all I've never heard never okay ink that up with the verse of mine I've never heard of jello cake I'm pretty sure you guys have and are like Evelyn what do you mean you've never heard of you've never heard of jello cake yeah well I've never heard of it and that is what that looks like I did not kind of prep it but I think wooden wooden stamps are a little bit different okay so there we go we're gonna put dish dish name back in its spot probably should have let that dry but we're gonna put dish name there and I think I'm gonna use um, these wooden block numbers because they're oh wait no never mind no I am going to use let's see, let's see. this is um, about the same size. I kind of like, is this the same size too? No, this one's actually a little bit smaller, I think. Just trying to see what numbers I would like to use. I think I'm going to like the mix of this and the half with that. So I'm going to use these numbers here. All right. So that's the dish name is going to go here, and then ingredients are going to go here. They're going to go here. So let's put ingredients. Let's 
stamp that right here. Sorry, I'm like quiet. <laughs> I was trying to concentrate and look, I still kind of went up too high. So that's the great thing about clear stamps. Um, if you want to know, like if you kind of ha are not very familiar with stamps, that's kind of the great thing about clear stamps. I'm going to leave that to dry. Is that you have a clear block where you can kind of see where you're stamping whereas with the wooden block you don't get to see that exactly okay so my ingredients are going to go here and i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten items so let's count that out see how many lines i have one two three four five six six lines so right so, I guess I'm just going to do probably five. I can do five and five. And we'll see how that, that comes out. I actually could stagger them. I could start here and then start here. <clears throat> so, let's do that, maybe. So, if I have to go a little bit further, I can do that. And we're going to use the clear numbers from the Happy Planner stamps. They came. This came from the journaling stamps that are now at. They're on the Me and My Big Ideas website. They are also available at Michaels, I believe. Still, I first got. I got mine from the Michael set that was in. I want to say December. Um. So I got that from that set, but they are out at Joanne and Hobby Lobby now in that journaling section. So as you can see what I'm talking about, I didn't do such a good stamp there. But I will not improve if I do not practice. And that is something that I definitely want y'all to see. Like... I don't want you to just see my perf like the things that I've somewhat mastered. I want you to see me as I'm learning. So, in my hopes of doing that is so that everything won't be as intimidating, maybe. Like you're like everyone is on Instagram kind of messing up. <laughs> She's on Instagram messing up and and YouTube messing up so surely I can do this at home there we go so the key is to not press so hard like you can do that with a wood block and that's really what I'm I'm used to stamping I've been kind of on and off as a stamper since 03 2003 but mainly with wooden blocks and foam blocks. Clear stamps is something that I got into um, when I started using a happy planner. So, but yeah, as I'm saying, as I'm saying, so if you see me messing up again, I'm not gonna just show you on my channel. I'm my hope is for you to feel like this is my girl. This is my homegirl, Evelyn. She is not afraid to show me her fails. And because she's not afraid to show me her fails, I feel free to fail. And knowing that eventually my practice will lead to improvement. So, and as you see, they, they got better and better because I'm not, I, I learned my lesson. I can't press that hard. Right? So I am looking at, you see my, my recipe book right here? I'm looking at my recipe book as I'm doing all this stamping so I know what goes where. Okay. So tap, tap. And this eight is going to go right here. So 
So I said I was gonna do five and five, right? So this eight goes here. And what's next? One again. Oh no, four. Oh, four space two, eight, one. So that's gonna be one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, two. Okay, so actually this is what I needed to leave there. I'm so glad that I double checked. Look at it. Oh, look at my little the little dash lines behind it, the shadowing, it's so cute. Okay, so next, my next stamps are gonna all be wooden, I'm gonna all be these. And I'm gonna put, actually, let me switch, switch out a stamp, a wooden stamp. Yeah, this is a table. I think this is supposed to be like a tablespoon because if you see here, take a look. I've got measuring cups and I got for liquid too. So cute. All right, gonna tap, tap. And then I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna put it over here because I think that's, ah, I pressed too hard. All right, it's still cute, it's still cute. Okay, tap, tap, tap. And then, and see, this is why it's probably a good idea to wipe off that excess. <clears throat> All right, and so, I'm gonna be, you know, super honest. Joanne, I noticed Joanne had a recipe, like keeper kind of book. And it was cute, but I am so digging the recipe organizer that has come out in this release. Like, super digging it. Okay, so, again, I said I was going to stagger, so that means I can start right here with this half a cup. And so I just need whoop, something's on my nail. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And everything is half now. I just need to do four though because the last ingredient does not have a measurement. See what I mean with this? Like lining it up. All right. And that's why Evelyn likes clear stamps. But I'm still going to try. So put that one up. And then I have directions here. Let's put the back of the sheet. Yeah, I like, uh-oh, I like that it says directions, and I'm going to use the pink, drop this pink down, and I'm going to kind of leave a little space of the black showing, because this is shadowed, so kind of in like a, a shadowing imitation okay so this is at the bottom of the block so I'm gonna try to use that as a guide and that came out much better okay all right okay so Next, I'm going to, I'm going to stamp as I go the one, two, three. There's only three steps in this slow cooker meal. So I'm going to stamp that here, but then 
I'm going to stamp as I write, but then serves, I'm going to stamp that now. But over here, I'm going to get a little fancy and use my Brilliance Dewdrops. And I want to try to use Copper Crimson, excuse me, Crimson Copper. So put that on my block. And that did not mean much. This is how stamps ink can last forever. Okay, and then I'm just going to ever so lightly put that here. And I think I kind of pressed it maybe a little bit too hard, but that's okay. And put the four up. So I'm gonna go ahead and write this one. If you wanna hang out, hang out. But so far, this is what I'm thinking. Oh wait, no, let me put my last sticker. So if you're gonna, I'm gonna put, I think there's like a little drumstick kind of thing. And this is essentially planning, or essential planning. I like to make up my own titles. <laughs> Okay, I gotta get, there we go. See, there's a whole sheet. Ooh, and I think I might even do a cauliflower pizza recipe. That might be fun. Okay, so we're gonna do this. And there's like no mushrooms or peppers in this book. So that's all I'm gonna take from here, cause yeah. Oh wait, maybe I'll do, this is really my favorite, like one of my stickers, like I, because it's, maybe it's because it's the cover. Okay, we're going to put that there, and then I'm going to put this here, or I'm going to take this off. This is a grocery shopping bag and put it. And put it down here with the serve lid. And I want this whole sticker on here. I don't want to hang it off. So there we go. And that's it. That's all I'm going to put on the page as far as stickers are concerned. And we're going to write the name of this recipe. The dish name, I should say. It is... Okay. Okay, and this is a manuscript pen with, uh, I believe this is called the handwriting nib. Okay. And I'm gonna pull this washi right here just in case I want to use that. Okay, let's put that right there to the side. All right, so now I'm gonna use my, me and my big ideas pen. I got mine out of the kit. And I'm going to write the rest of the recipe. 
So I'm going to speed this up with you for you guys so um, you can see more of what I'm doing. Again, it was from this book. Alright, so I am going to show you my snatching, so to speak, snatching style, because I'm not going to snatch up any particular spread of Mary Ellen's um, as far as for my planner, but I just want to do a little mini snatch in my mini. So if you're interested in that, keep on watching. Okay, so as I said, I was going to do a mini, mini kind of layout tribute. Um, I'm going to do it in my dashboard layout. And I've just got my stickers here to let you know that I'm also going to do a video where I talk to you about all of the squad sticker packs. Um, so look out for that my mini tribute in my mini and I hope you guys liked it definitely in Mary Ellen style so I hope to see you in another video and I hope you had a great time watching this snatched don't forget to like comment and subscribe also hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any fun videos that we have on the channel also remember that there is a giveaway going on you want to check um, my prior video for the details of that all right thank you for watching